guys, it's Rose with Rose Likes Crochet. How is everybody doing? It is Wednesday, March 13th, 2024, and I am coming on here with another Yarn Yakin video for March. So for those of you who are new here, my name's Rose. I like to crochet. I like yarn a lot. <laughs> you can check out all my Yarn Yakin videos and you'll see that. And I make stitch markers, so please go check out my Etsy shop. It is linked down below in the description box. If you could favorite the shop and favorite a few items, it really does help me out a whole lot and I do appreciate it. Now there is a secret sale going on in my Etsy shop. So for those of you who are interested in buying stitch markers, I am having a buy three, get one free sale in my Etsy shop. Um, it is a uh, value up to $5. And since I can't figure out how to make Etsy take care of all that for me, um, it is gonna be a manual adjustment. When I ship your order, I'll refund the extra $5. So please go check out my Etsy shop and the stitch markers. I do have over 150 listings. And within each of the listings, there's probably a couple different styles depending on the listing. So I have a lot of stitch markers and there's a ton for you guys to choose from. I also still have mystery bags and I have a lot of clearance stitch markers too. So go check it out. Speaking of the Etsy shop, if you are seeing this tonight on Wednesday the 13th, uh, all of the market bags that I made in my last video, last Yarn Yakin video, should be listed up in the Etsy shop as well. There is one bag that won't be listed because one of my local friends, Carolyn, hi Carolyn, she took the one bag from me. So don't worry, she bought me yarn so that I could make it again. So, um, but she wanted the navy bag. And so I brought it for her uh, about a week and a half ago and um, she's got it. So that's the only one that won't be listed in the Etsy shop. So go check those out too. There's more than just those. There's probably like 30 or 40 bags listed in the Etsy shop. And the last thing about Etsy is I am doing a yarn de stash. So if you are seeing this video on Wednesday, that's when those listings are going live. <laughs> Wednesday the 13th at 7 o'clock at night. And um, it is a lot of yarn. I'm looking at it now and there's a huge garbage bag and um, a lot of cakes and a whole tote full of yarn. And uh, it's all up for sale. You just have to pay the you know price of the yarn plus... You know, if I got something at Hobby Lobby and it was a dollar and a quarter, obviously I had to pay tax on it. So I have to include that in the price of the yarn. Uh, and then you pay the shipping on it. So um, go check it out. Uh, so that's it for the Etsy shop. Oh, we'll do other admin stuff since we're doing this. Uh, there's a Facebook group for this YouTube podcast. Um, and by the way, everything I talk about, there will be links down below in the description box. You have to answer three questions to join. I promise they're easy. Um, you don't have to say your favorite color is purple, but please be sure to go over there if you are a member of the Facebook group and show us what you're working on and let us know of any sales that are going on because we all want to know where the cheap yarn is. <laughs> so there's that. I'm also on Instagram, so you can follow me at Rose Likes Crochet. Uh, feel free to tag me in any giveaways that you see. And if you're not on Instagram, but you want to see what I post on Instagram, there is a Facebook business page that is attached to the Instagram account. Uh, other than that, there's TikTok and obviously the Etsy shop. And if you like Rose Likes Crochet merchandise, you can go check out the Spring Shop as well. There's mugs and t-shirts and all kinds of stuff in there. So I think that's it for admin stuff. Um, so Yarn Yakin videos are usually me talking about yarn and other stuff. <laughs> I usually don't show whips, uh, but I do have a couple of finished objects to show you. Uh, I did go... Uh, get some retail therapy. <laughs> this was not this past weekend, but the weekend before, uh, did some retail therapy and I placed an order on Amazon. So I have, it's not, there's no yarn or anything. Um, so I wanted to show you guys that. And then, uh, what else? I have another opportunity for you guys to do some charity work. So this is totally, um, separate from wings. Uh, if you are new here, go check out my last Wings video that was just posted, I think, on Fry Friday, maybe. Um, this is something completely separate. If you guys want to participate, I would love to see what we can do. Um, this is another local organization that my friend Paula told me about. She was asking uh, the local group here if we wanted to make some washcloths for this organization. And I know Wings is not accepting washcloths. So um, 
I think there is someone accepting washcloths on YouTube, but I don't know who it is. I can't remember. Anyway, the name of this organization is called We Pop Up. And you can, I don't know if they have a website, but they know, I know they have a Facebook group and they always ask my friend Paula for washcloths about twice a year. Uh, so before summertime and before the holidays. So I don't think there's any size qualifications uh, for the washcloth. So I am going to just throw it out there and I'll be sure to mention this in all my yarn yakin videos. If you guys are interested in helping with washcloths, there's no limit. There's no, like I said, no qualifications. Um, I have a PO box that is listed down below in my in the description box down below the video. And if you are so inclined and you would like to send some washcloths for this organization called We Pop Up, I would really appreciate it. So um, I don't have much else information. This is kind of like I'm learning about this. Trust me, I asked Paula like 50 questions about, <laughs> about what they do over there. And um, so just let me know if you are interested in donating some washcloths to this organization. I'm going to say you can send as many as you want, as often as you want. And I probably won't be doing any separate videos for that. It'll probably, if I do get donations, just be included in my regular Yarn Yakin videos. So uh, just, you know, leave a comment. Let me know if you think you might want to donate some washcloths and then you can just send them whenever you want. How about that? <laughs> I don't want to give a deadline because apparently they ask for them twice a year. So I uh, fully intend on not keeping them here at my house. I'm going to deliver them to Paula and she can take care of that. She doesn't know that yet because I didn't tell her, but <laughs> I'm sure she'll be fine with that. <laughs> so, all right. So I think that's it for admin stuff. Um, I'm just going to, I was just reading my notes here because I took some notes. So I think what I'll first do is I'll uh, tell, I'll show you my Amazon haul. And like I said, there's no yarn in here, but it's all craft fair yarny related stuff okay so the first thing that i picked up from amazon you guys i don't know the prices on it because i'm filming on my phone and my amazon is on the you know i just don't know anyway so when i go to craft fairs i usually tag my bigger items um and when i say bigger items like market bags um shawls baby blankets um if something has wool in it i'll tag it I'm trying to think what else I tag. I don't tag like my lovies or um, kitchen scrubbies or little tiny things like that, but the bigger items I do tag. So anyway, I picked up a three pack of these tags, marking tags from Avery. And believe it or not, I think I bought like a three pack of this like two years ago and they're almost all gone. So this is one of the things that I picked up from Amazon. And then I have a bunch of these black packages, which are all safety eyes you guys so i have not started yet on my um i lie i have started making octos um but i have not started on making um bees or frogs or like a, so i get obsessed with patterns you guys and i usually have to make like five billion of the same thing and i haven't started the obsession with those things yet so I figured I would stock up on my eyes. Um, this is one of the sets of eyes that I got. And these are all from Amazon. Um, again, don't know the price. Most of these I think were like $8.99 or $9.99. Let me see if this has like a, a tag on it. I'm going to hold it up to the camera. And then if you guys, that's the one I just showed you. If you want to take a screenshot of that and then just blow it up so you can get the number. That right there is this set and then I think some of these are just plain black um, uh, and apparently they're not the same numbers here <laughs> there's three different kinds usually I just get like the plain black and I put those like in the frogs but I don't know if I got any plain black ones here we're gonna see all right this one is I think it says, oh, what does it say here? 15 millimeter eyes right there. And I think those, the one, that big set that I showed you were 15 and 16 millimeter eyes. So this one right here is just 15. And I'm gonna hold that up there so if you guys wanna screenshot it, you can. 
So that was that one. It's got uh, one, two, three, four, five different colors in there. Uh, and then this one right here is also 15 millimeter eyes. Oh, and I just cut the plastic open on that. <laughs> all right, let's see here what this one is. No, the numbers are all different, so I think that they're all different. Okay, these are a little bit different. So I don't know if you can see, it's got red, pink, green, and these are also 15 millimeter eyes. And if you are interested in that one, that is the tag for that one. And these are all from Amazon, you guys. And then the next one that I'm going to open, it says 16 millimeter eyes. So, and I think these are pretty interchangeable with um, Octos, the leggy frogs that I make and the monsters that I make from uh, the little, well, they're called mini monsters, but I don't make them mini. <laughs> oh, these are glittery eyes, you guys. You're not even gonna be able to see them that well. Those are glittery eyes. Okay, and then the tag for that one, in case you're interested, is gonna be this one right here. So if you need to take a screenshot of that and blow it up, go ahead and do that. So that is my safety eye haul from Amazon. And then I did get something else, you guys. I got a new mannequin. Okay, it's not really a mannequin, it's a dress form. So the mannequin that I have right now probably weighs like 30 pounds because it's on like a concrete <laughs> concrete base. I don't know. I picked it up on Facebook Marketplace like five years ago and it's a real pain in my patootie. Um, so I really wanted like a more lightweight um, dress form. So I picked one up from Amazon. Okay, <laughs> sorry, it was, it was, it was like top heavy. <laughs> And it's still top heavy. Anyway, this is the dress form that I picked up from Amazon. It was like $20, $20. And then you can't get free shipping on like any of the, if you get free shipping on any of these dress forms from Amazon, it's like $50. So you're paying the same thing either way. So um, I don't know if you guys can even see. There is the number for it. Obviously, I have not even opened it up yet. Um, I am uh, going to probably not name this. <laughs> I did name the other mannequin that I had, but it's actually like a full, like it's got, it's a mannequin. Um, so I'm probably going to go ahead and like put that up on Facebook Marketplace so I can get rid of that out of my house and just use this. And I really only use this to display like shawls or cowls or, um, yeah, so it's not, it didn't have to be anything fancy. Anyway, that's part of my Amazon haul. <laughs> All right, so enough of Amazon. So uh, about a week and a half ago, I got to hang out with my local friends. So on Friday, not last Friday, but the Friday before, I met up with my friend Paula, which is the washcloth lady. <laughs> that's what we're going to call her. And we went uh, to the gym and then dinner and then Michael's. <laughs> I know that's crazy combination, right? Anyway, when she met up with me, she gave me these two dolls, these C3PO dolls that she found at Kohl's and they were $6.49 on clearance and then she got half off of that. So she decided to gift these to me and said I could turn them into lovies. Now I thought about this and what I think I'm gonna do is I am gonna turn these into lovies for when we are donating lovies for wings. And I think that's in October. So I know I'm gonna have to stash these away until October, but I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna donate these two to wings. So thank you, Paula, for uh, giving me these as gifts. I will turn around and use those as a donation. And then she also gave me a ball of yarn. <laughs> she gave me this yarn bee. It's called Farmer's Market and it's got some red in it and we're both, we both have a ton of the Elmo stuffed animals and we're trying to find yarn that has red in it um, to match the Elmo stuffed animal. And uh, she had this extra one in her stash and she said I could have this one to match the Elmo. So thank you so much, Paula, for that. I appreciate it. And then the next day, which was 
not last Saturday, but the Saturday before, uh, we all hung out again and we went to Joanne Fabrics. Um, oh, I'll show you. I did buy something at Michael's that Friday night. Let me get it. Hang on a second. Okay. So, so yeah, this was Friday night and there was a 50% off one item uh, coupon at Michael's. And so Paul and I were walking around and we were helping this really cool kid. He was looking for a color yarn for some punch needle stuff. We had a good time shopping in there. Anyway, so I had a 50% off coupon. I had to use it on something, right? So there was the whole display of Karen Skinny Cakes. And I know I already bought two and I haven't used them yet. But did that stop me from buying another one? No. Okay, so I got this Karen Skinny Cake. I don't even know what I'm going to do with it. Um, and this was originally $12.99 and I had a half off coupon. So I got this for $6.50. And that is what it looks like, my friends. I know it's not purple, but I already have the purple one that I wanted. And I thought this was so pretty. So pretty. Okay. So because this is still, uh, it says limited time only, but you can get it right now in the stores. It's, I'll tell you the specs on it. So it is made in India. It is a three weight. It's really soft. It recommends four millimeter knitting needles and crochet hook. Machine wash and dry, 100% acrylic, 8.8 .8 ounces, 250 grams, 795 yards, 727 meters. And the color on this is called Mulberry. Oh my gosh, it is so pretty. You guys, there's like two shades. I don't even know if you can see it on that one. There's like two shades of pink and then there's purple and then there's like a greenish color, there's yellow, there's, it's not even yellow, it's more like a buttercream and there's white. Oh my gosh, it's just super duper pretty, you guys. I still have to figure out what to do with the other ones that I got. Anyway, I got this for half off. <laughs> and then they had this yarn, which I saw previously and didn't purchase. And this was on sale for $5.99. And it is Loops and Threads. And it is called Carousel Twist. So I'm going to tell you about this because this is a current yarn. Loops and Threads is the Michaels brand. Okay, so this one is made in Turkey. It is 213 yards, 5.3 ounces, 195 meters, 150 grams. The color on this is called Pink Lemonade. It is a five bulky. They recommend 5.5 millimeter knitting needle and crochet hook, machine wash warm, tumble dry low. Did I even tell you what that was on this? I'm pretty sure this is machine. Yeah, machine wash and dry. 100% uh, acrylic on this. And like I said, this one is called pink lemonade. And I thought this would be great for a lovey. And then I fell in love with this color too. I'll show you this one. This one is called Posy. Look at the colors. You guys, there's purple and like blue and periwinkle and like green. Oh my gosh, they're so pretty. So these will probably be used for lovies. If not, this would make a great hat. And you know, honestly, it doesn't really look much like a five weight to me. Not really. It looks like a four weight. Anyway, those are the only two colors I picked up. All the colors that they had were really, really pretty, but that, those are the only ones I picked up. Okay, so the Saturday after that, we went to Joanne Fabrics, and this was the whole crew. So this was Philip, Paula, and Carolyn. Hi, guys. <laughs> and we went to Joanne Fabrics. That's the only store we went to. And I had a $5 reward. Like, yeah, $5 reward at Joanne Fabrics. So I did two separate transactions because you can't combine, there was a 25% off your total purchase. You can't combine the $5 and whatever. They tell you you can do it on the same transaction, but I don't ever trust them. <laughs> so I picked up these Lily Sugar and Cream. They were on sale for $2.99 each. And uh, I used my $5 coupon and I got them for $1.32 each. Not bad, right? After that $5 coupon. Uh, this one, and it was a door buster, so you couldn't use the 25% on it anyway. I'll tell you the specs on these because these are available everywhere. Well, not everywhere, but like they're not discontinued. This is a super size. 
It's a four weight. They recommend 4.5 millimeter knitting needles, five millimeter crochet hook made in Canada from 100% cotton. The color on this one is called salt and pepper. It is three ounces, 85 grams, 143 yards, and 131 meters. So these three should make a market bag for me. And that was why I bought them, to make a market bag. And I think this is gonna turn out really, really pretty as a market bag. So um, that's what I got with my $5 coupon. And then I found some other yarn, hang on. Okay, you guys. You know me and blanket yarn, right? Okay, so are you ready for this? This was not on the website when we were there because the lady behind the counter told me it was not on the website. But before I show you the new blanket yarn that I found, my friend Carolyn, who wanted that navy blue bag, she went ahead and purchased me two of the, uh, it's called Bright Navy. She bought two of these balls for me as a replacement for her taking my bag. <laughs> so that I can make another one. I think I told you guys about that earlier. So Carolyn, thank you so much. It was a pleasure doing business with you. <laughs> All right, so uh, this is a new style of Bernat blanket yarn. It's Bernat baby blanket yarn. And there was like six or seven colors there and there was a couple of empty spots. So I picked up four of these. They were on sale for $8.99. And then you could use, it was not a door buster, so then you could use a 25% off coupon. And so I got these for $6.74 each. Okay, so are you guys ready? Because I had never seen these before, and I don't know why you all didn't tell me about this. <laughs> all right. <clears throat> Bernat Baby Blanket, it's all the regular specs of Bernat Blanket, 220 yards, 10.5 ounces, 300 grams, it's a six bulky. 100% polyester, they recommend eight millimeter knitting needle and crochet hook, and this is made in China. Okay, so you guys see that? It's hard to tell close up, but like when I was looking at it from far away, I was like, oh my gosh, what is that? Okay, so this color is called Petal Pink. Maybe it's easier to see it this way. Petal Pink, you know I had to get purple, right? This one is called Lavender Fields. Okay, you can see a little bit better there. It almost reminds me of the, what is it called? It wasn't like the washed one. It was called Frosted, Bernat Blanket Frosted. It reminds me of that. And I think they still have the Frosted. And then I did pick up a green one so that I could do frogs. And guess what this one is called? Leafy Greens, Leafy Greens. And then the last one that I picked up, I thought was super pretty, is called Sunset. Oh my gosh, that is so pretty. So it totally reminds me of the Frosted, but it's different. Like it's it's um, brighter colors. The Frosted ones are all very muted. So you guys, I don't need any blanket yarn, but I had to have this. And I don't know if I'm gonna get any more of these this style Look at how pretty, oh my gosh. I couldn't help myself. I know I need to start using up my yarn. <laughs> All right, so that was the only store we went to, just Joanne Fabrics, and then Paula and I had gone to Michael's the night before. Now, I will tell you that on Friday night, or Friday during the day, I placed an order for Joanne Fabrics because there was a 25% off coupon. And in that order, I know for sure that I ordered some Red Heart Super Saver in, um, I don't know, I can't remember, <laughs> Retro Stripes. And then I also ordered some cotton, but I don't think I ordered any blanket yarn. So I'm going to say that this is going to be a pretty even <laughs> deal here. <laughs> anyway, but you know how Joanne Fabrics is, they send it in like 20 different packages. So as of today, I still haven't received all the packages. So I'm just waiting. You'll probably see that order in the next Yarn Yakin video. Um, so that was what I got at Joanne Fabrics and Michael's. Not a whole lot compared to lately. <laughs> so I'm proud of myself. <laughs> all right, the very last thing, and I think this might be a quick uh, Yarn Yakin video for once, is I have a couple of finished objects to show you. Let me get them, hang on. 
All right, you guys, so it's not a whole lot, but I'm working on these slowly but surely. Um, I do have a big pile of octos that are done, but I didn't want to spend a whole lot of time tonight showing you octos. So that'll be in the next yarn yakin video. Anyway, I worked on some loveys and I wanted to show you. So a lovey is what I was talking about when I said I was going to turn these into loveys for wings. Um, so I use the pattern from uh, Z, which is Zelda NRJ3. She is here on YouTube and her tutorial is linked in the description box of every single one of my videos because that's how much I use her pattern. Uh, I'm not gonna tell you how to make it. You need to go over and watch Z's tutorial. So hi Z. Um, so I am replenishing my lovey stock for upcoming craft fairs because they sell mostly pretty well for me. So I have five, I think I have five loveys to show you here. Okay, so the first one, and I love getting the Thai beanie boos for my loveys because I just think they're so cute. So this one, let me see, is this, a, it is a beanie boo. And what is this guy called? This is called Honeycomb. And by the way, I do list, all of my loveys are listed on my Etsy shop. So you will see these listed in the Etsy shop as well, as well as all that yarn I was telling you about that I'm de-stashing and the market bags. So this is Honeycomb and he is adorable. And this is actually using, I, I just made this, this is the only reason why I remember. Uh, the loops and threads, it was like a clearance yarn. Super pretty. So I have, I have this guy and then I made, this one is called Cute and Cuddly. And I, I don't know what this is, but it's adorable. <laughs> is it a teddy bear? I think it might be a teddy bear. So I had some of this Red Heart, boy, I can't remember what this is called. And I only had a little bit left. And so I trimmed it in purple to match the bow right there. So there's another lovey. And then this guy is the bomb. This is a Beanie Boo and his name is Hope or her name is Hope. And <laughs> she prays, she's like a praying te teddy bear. Oh my gosh. This is some awesome chunky yarn. I don't remember what it's from, but it is a, a like a bulky five. So soft and squishy. And you can see that she's praying. And she's actually like kneeling. Isn't that adorable? So this one will, I mean, these will all be listed in my Etsy shop. So that's Hope. And then um, I thought this was kind of cool. This was like one of those pr Premier Bloom chunky yarns um, where it's supposed to make a pattern if you knit it. This is Carly the Koala Bear. And I thought this turned out really, really cool. Cause you know, she's gray and pink and there's gray and pink in there, and then it's supposed to mimic like the flowers. It comes out better, obviously, if you're knitting. So this is Carly the Koala Bear. Oh, and a lot of people ask, do you cut their heads off? And no, it's a full-size stuffed animal. <laughs> and the last one that I finished is Luigi from Mario and Luigi. I do have Mario, but I don't know where he's at. I need to make him, he might not be listed because I think I'm gonna wait until I get Mario done. So that is all. It's not like I haven't been working on stuff. I have, it's just that I do multiples of things and I like to show the whole kit and caboodle when I do show them here on my YouTube channel. <laughs> so, all right, so that is all that I have for tonight. And if you guys can let me know what you think about um, my loveys <laughs> and go check out Z, of course, so you can learn how to make those if you haven't already. And then um, leave a comment about whatever you want. And um, let me know what you think about the washcloth donation thing, if you might be interested in, in doing that. And uh, if you have any ideas on that, um, like if I should make a deadline, would that be easier? Because then you won't have to be scrambling. I don't know. I'm not sure what to do. Anyway, I'm just excited to go play with safety eyes and yarn. <laughs> all right, so that's all I have. I hope you guys have a good rest of the week, and I will talk to you later. Bye.